Righto, Teliote champs and 14th gen Intel processors are here. Wolf. Should I say Wolf? I mean, are you excited about it? I want to know. I'm not upgrading my 13th gen, but if you are going to upgrade, or if you're just going to do a PC build, whether you use 12th, 13th or 14th gen, this is where you start. This ROG motherboard here. The ROG Strix Z790 or Z790A Gaming Wi-Fi 2. And looking at this motherboard, it looks friggin' awesome. I'm actually sad I'm reviewing it because I actually want it now. So of course, this accepts the latest 14th gen Intel processors. And let me let you in on a little secret. You ask anyone who builds desktops, you go ask them, money no object, what are you going to put in your system? They're all going to choose ASUS or ROG. If they're all honest, they're going to say ASUS or ROG, 100%. There may be sort of some hipster freak out there that would say something different, but look, let's be honest, everybody's going to choose ROG or ASUS. There's a reason they're number one, right? It wasn't like, oops, we're number one. It just happened by accident. They're number one because they're the best. So what do I mean by the best? You get by far the best BIOS in the business. Go ask anyone who overclocks ROG, ASUS, best BIOS without question. You get the best memory support. They do the most testing. You get the best results. Everybody that overclocks to the max goes by as an ROG Apex. And in fact, this Strix motherboard here won't hold you back. You'll be able to overclock your 12th, 13th or 14th Intel processor to the max. Yes, your CPU or your cooling system will give out before this motherboard. So you don't have to worry in that regard. And when it comes to sort of like the entry level sort of high end motherboards. So you're talking like this, the Strix. Usually it's the Tough or the Prime as well. These are the best motherboards. Like for me, this is what I would buy. Look, if I had an unlimited budget, I'll go buy a Maximus Apex or something like that. But in the real world where you want best bang for buck, this is it. And have a look how gorgeous it is. It looks Looks like a high-end motherboard, right? And it comes with one feature I've never seen in a motherboard before. Wi-Fi 7. Now, this is what happened when the 14th gen processors come out. They went to Wi-Fi 7. So you have Wi-Fi 7 on this motherboard. Amazing. So that's going to give you better coverage. Like, it even gives better coverage than 6 gigahertz, like better wireless range. So first time I've ever seen it. So awesome that you get this on this motherboard. And this motherboard gives you everything you want, right? Five M.2s. Five. Wow. Heat sinks for all of them. It looks high end, doesn't it? How cool is it? I like this white one. This is what I'd buy because I'd buy the white one, right? I'm either going to go a Prime or this one here, the Strix. And yes, as I said before, if I had unlimited budget, I would go to the Maximus Asus ROG Maximus there. But this motherboard here has everything you want. It has PCI Express 5 times 16 slot for your GPU. Of course, all the SSDs are PCI Express 4. If you want PCI Express 5 SSDs, you've got to go to the Maximus or the, you know, the A packs and all that sort of stuff but come on you don't need a pci express 5 ssd you'll be able to overclock your memory in this they always have great memory support it has really good onboard audio of course all your rgb headers it has everything usb type c with power delivery every port you want and need there 2.5 gig ethernet and as i said before your cpu is going to give up before this or your ram is going to give up so if you want to overclock your cpu and ram this motherboard will not hold you back i've always overclocked my prime tough or strix and i've had all of them by the way over the years you don't need more than this you'll be able to clock your cpu to the max your memory to the max and genuinely it is your cpu that'll buckle first before this motherboard and your ram right so this is not going to hold you back I have the previous version Prime and I overclocked to 5.8 gigahertz. I can actually overclock to 6 gigahertz, but my CPU just gets too high. I can't handle it. It's not the motherboard that's going to hold you back. So this has everything you need. If you're going to build a 14th gen Intel system, this is what you get. And I want it. Uh, yeah. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.